Welcome to the Atlantic Africa Autumn News. We hope you'll find it interesting. Firstly, some very good news. The Omwana Tugendi Children's Home is now recognized as a ministry approved home. We're not quite sure what practical effects this will have, but it's something we've been working towards for a long time and everyone is very happy about it. One of the teachers of the women's sewing class had the great idea of her students learning how to make children's clothes by making clothes for the children of Omwana Tugende. And here they are. We have started a new program whereby people can sponsor children in the home. It costs 10 euros a month. The children this summer looked at letters from their sponsors and sent drawings back. Anyone who's interested can sign up on the web. We certainly have plenty of children to be sponsored. In August, we held the first Omwana Tugendi Reunion Day party, where we brought back to the home all the children who'd been resettled. The staff wore their new Omwana Tugendi t-shirts and there was lots of eating and drinking and playing and the children of Omwana Tugende sang and danced for the ones who have already left. It was a very memorable day. The children are now using the computers donated to the school by Jack Horton. They are also beginning to grow their own food, guided by the agriculture teacher. They grew enough maize last term to last most of this one, and now they are planting matoki, those are green bananas, for the future. We took the senior one students up to the top of the rocks of Chamurara. We had a wonderful time until the heavens opened and then we got wetter than it is possible to imagine. Visiting day was a great occasion. The parents came and speeches were given. They then watched a short play about the importance of education put on by the school drama club. Afterwards, the parents talked to the teachers about their children's progress, spent time with their children and ate the special food they had brought with them. If you are interested in sponsoring a child at the Adelante Africa Secondary School, this is the right time to get in touch with us as we are looking for 20 new sponsors for the new academic year, which starts after Christmas. The third Adelante Africa FAL Day was held this year with members representing the nine FAL groups and over 900 members. Five groups attended from other areas. There were speeches, exhibitions of FAL project products and songs and dances. Women make up 95% of the foul groups and the day ended with a wonderful and very entertaining women's football match. Adelante Africa is going to support a new self-help group of diabetics in Igayaza. They're going to meet once a month to exchange experiences and are committed to rallying around any member who has a diabetic crisis. The technician from the local government health centre has promised to test them regularly using a glucometer that Dr. Alba Galdon, one of the Spanish doctors who visited in May, left behind. Dr. Galdon is also on hand to give them advice from Spain via WhatsApp. 
We want to mention two visits we had this summer. One was from Gonzalo Gomez, who used the Adelante Africa projects for his master's dissertation on the roles of NGOs in the implementation of sustainable development goals. The other was from Heather Galloway, her daughter and a friend. Heather is setting up community trips in Uganda and Nepal and came to try out the activities in Igayaza. These included trying local food, learning local dances, and a bit of trekking as well as spending time at Adelante Africa projects. Claire Wood from Alicante competed in a six kilometer swim from the island of Tabaka to Santa Pola in July. She raised 1500 euros for Adelante Africa. Elisa, an architect based in Madrid, has created Enjuki, a line of very functional but beautiful children's clothes. They are reversible and have no fastenings. She uses material from Uganda and the profits go to Adelante Africa. Take a look on our website for more information. Lastly, we want to leave you with part of the dance of St. Joseph's Primary School, which won the World Vision Song, Drama and Dance competition in the area again this year. On behalf of Adelante Africa, we'd like to thank you for your interest and for supporting us. Thank you all very much. Yeah.